Go, 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 walk. Walk, bro. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Keep walking. Fucking piece of shit. Fucking knock you out, bro. Stay back. Stay back. What? Stay back, stay back. Go, aim, 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 aim. Stay back, stay back, stay back. Stay back. Stay back. Stay back. Stay the fuck back. Stay back. Stay the fuck back. Get the fuck back. Get the fuck back. Get back. Get back. Get back. Get the fuck back. He was assaulted. Get the fuck back. We hate Nick. Get the fuck back. Aim, 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 aim. Calling the cops now. Aim. When that happened, when I saw the swing, I went up to him. And your buddy pulled out a gun and pointed at him. He was. Here, it's the video. And they're running towards us. Huh? You know, he doesn't have to. The very final thing that just oh my god this fucking triggered me i was just on, on a deep seated level i couldn't get over this this really fucking pissed me off so brace yourselves president trump you made a big mistake by trying to divide us up by race religion gender and nationality you actually brought us closer with 300,000 retweets fuck fuck you Fuck you, Bernie! Fuck off! Trump did not try to divide you by race, religion, and gender and nationality. You are the cunts dividing people by race and gender! It's a fucking women's march, Bernie! Fuck! God, this is a... Ugh, I'm totally triggered by this, I swear, right? Holy fucking shit, this is just an abject rewriting of history. But new candidates have left the leader with questions to answer. One, Carl Benjamin, tweeted a controversial comment about rape. I asked you earlier uh, on today about your decision to defend your candidate and his suggestion that he wouldn't even rape <laughs> Labour MP <laughs> Jeff Phillips. So I would like to ask Carl Benjamin why you think it is acceptable to say on Twitter that you wouldn't even rape a female Labour MP. Because I don't think women are any different to men in the way that you should treat them. Unlike the establishment, unlike our judges who literally say, if you were a man, I would send you to jail, I think we should treat women the same as men. And that means if a woman is being a giant and laughing at male suicide, I'm going to be a giant back to her. And today, as she drops, we find out exactly who it's for. It's for social justice warriors. It's for the woke commandos. A lot of people... Uh, completely ignored my criticism of She-Ra and my prediction that it would be uh, woke garbage by accusing me of being like a pedo or something. Oh man, the memories, the memories of He-Man, She-Ra, oh, they really take me back. Uh, but then we saw um, the reboot now come out and we notice something conspicuous. Back in the 80s, femininity, you know, it was okay for women to be women. I don't know if if you notice anything here, but uh, that's a man. But women are in a nature setting, like to be conquered. But what was the initial cause of this event to begin with? I really don't think most people even know anymore. All the headlines are saying now is things like three dead after white nationalist rally in Charlottesville or Charlottesville white nationalist rally blamed for three deaths, dozens of injuries, with little mention of the other players in these events. And with little context at all and misleading phrasing, the media appears to be trying to pin this on white supremacy, its favorite boogeyman. Hell, even the term white nationalist has become almost as bad as saying nigger or kike. According to 
to the leftists, but blaming the alt-right, white nationalists, and white supremacists is just blatantly mischaracterizing the whole situation. Right-wing conservatives decided to hold a rally which they called Unite the Right. It's worth noting that they didn't call themselves Unite White Nationalists or Unite for White Supremacy. Sure, they very likely contained some or many nationalists or supremacists, but the rally was established simply for conservatives who wanted to keep the statue. That's it. A white nationalist blogger had called upon his followers and supporters to meet here in Charlottesville to protest the city's efforts to try to take down a statue of Robert E. Lee from a city park. So eventually the police came to clear them out of the park, push them onto the streets, and it's when the counter protesters were on the streets that we saw that deadly hit and run that injured 19 people and killed one woman. Now throughout the protests, there were police helicopters flying overhead, and late yesterday afternoon, one of those helicopters crashed, killing both officers on board. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it, and I think it ended up being one of my best videos, so I hope you guys think so too. If you're interested in seeing more content like this, please leave a like to let me know you guys like this video, and if you're new, make sure to subscribe to see more of what I make. I appreciate all your support so much, and you guys are the best. Be sure to check out my new website and the new fan discord through the link in the description, and don't forget to follow me on Twitter as well. That's all from me guys, thank you all so much for watching, Pig Puncher, out.